What's going on everyone, Dr. Steven James here to bring you another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to my For You TikToks. Um, I, I just want to point out for the record that this could go either way because I do not find TikTok even half as stimulating as YouTube in my opinion. So it should be interesting to uh, see how this one's going to go. But before we get underway, re underway really quick, I checked my analytics and I saw that 27.2% of you are subscribed. Now, while on the other hand, it means there is plenty of room for growth, which is always good, it also means that you guys are not subscribed to me. So what the heck? Hit that subscribe button. It only takes like two seconds. And while you're at it, also leave a like on the video. Because I try to up While I meant to make this video a few days ago, I've been really busy. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started. Oh my gosh! Look at that fluffy unicorn! <laughs> You know, I really do wish Mallory would upload to TikTok more often because they're actually really good. such an amazing voice. Can you agree to that? If you agree, leave a like on the video. This video, not that one. But you can also check her out on TikTok. You know, it's up to you. Full, disclo full disclosure, uh, those first two were already... I already left a like on those first three. So, from, like... I, I just really wanted to give my uh, reaction to those. Just uh, um, just FYI, just a little disclaimer. I just like to hurt women and manipulate them. It's kind of like my kink. Brother. Why'd you do that? Because you said you wanted to hurt women. No, manipulate them. Oh, manipulate them. Yeah, for your benefit. Because for my benefit. Evil oh, this is, um, this is Kevin Lang's upload. One of Kevin yeah, Lang's. Okay. Let's talk about voting and why women shouldn't do it, huh? I want to talk about women's suffrage. You want to talk about women's suffrage? Who is this guy, Crazy Rabbit? I just like to hurt women and manipulate them. It's kind of like my kink. Guys, I figured out the reason why I'm single. I just like to hurt Damn, girl. How did you guys survive? I mean... How I cancel subscriptions in seconds. This app shows you all of them and lets you cancel them with a tap. I found so many subscriptions that I forgot about. I forgot I gave my roommate my password. And I've been paying for really? HBO accounts. That's three hundred fifty dollars. I feel like if I feel like it's really easy to keep track of your subscriptions if you're uh, if you have them through Apple because you can always check in your settings. Oh, that was an ad. Oh my word, you're depressed. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just get up. Come on, we're gonna go grab some ice cream and chicken nuggets. And yes, you have the toy before the chicken nuggets. Come on. What would you do if... Oh, my word, you're depressed. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, both political parties is full of crap, and the control by the... Elite... <laughs> Can you imagine using cable in 2023? 20, what a bunch of boomers. He said channel, that's the real joke here.
I wonder how much storage space is on this camera. How long do I have before I have to purge some things? Who's your celebrity lookalike? Um, God, that's a tough one. God, if I had to guess, I'd say. Hey, it's Cole Sprouse. My celebrity lookalike. I, I didn't know who that is. So how sweet was it? Was what? The life on deck. It was sweet. Wait, who? I, I'm, I'm what did you say you look like? I'm sorry, let me rewind. The life on deck. You know who that is. So how sweet was it? Was what? The life on deck. I, I do know who that is. Oh. So how sweet was it? He just said himself. The life on deck. It was sweet. I'm, I'm lying. I know. I was, do you, you recognize me? No. Ashley Tizzo? Oh, yeah. Oh, in my defense, she does look in... Mine and his defense, uh, she does look different. Yeah, not at all. I'm Brunetta. <laughs> Who's your celebrity lookalike? I saw this travel hack on TikTok and I had to try to look at this. Hopper. Here's what you do if you want to get hotels for prices like this. So, first, go to the app store and download uh, the app. Another ad. And search for your I mean, I know it's actually a TikTok, not an ad. And then yeah. you want to use this color coded calendar to find hidden deep Ash Man Athletics. I guess it kind of rings a bell. I don't know why they paired us up together. Yeah. <laughs> I know we have nothing in common. We should find the people who did this. And curse their families and watch as misfortune, misfortune follows their bloodline for the next seven generations. generations. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> hey Rory, some lady on the internet says you're cold, you should probably come inside. You're not made for this cold weather. Mm -hmm. It is God like, she's not confident in like, her natural beauty, I'm like, this bitch. Anyway. 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 How old are you then? Um, oh, I just read it matches so far. Yeah, also, don't drive. Are you driving? Um, I just found out there's an actual clinical name for what you call it when you can't sleep at night and you just eat instead. It's called it's nom 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 yeah. <laughs> it's an actual clinical name. It what you call it when you can't sleep at night and you just eat instead. Things we don't want to hear from someone who's just moved in next door. You hear a gunshot. You didn't hear a gunshot. Mm. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Hey, is that the guy from America's Got Talent? No, it's not him. The accent gives it away. Or lack thereof, I should say. Okay, this is part two of fun games to play on the toilet. Today we got top war. All right, rifle or hammer? Obviously, we're gonna go with the rifle. Okay, this thing is shooting very slow. Okay, we're not. Gonna yeah, okay, slow we're fire rate. Right, that's two, not good. Obviously, plus two soldiers. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Nope. Oh my gosh, there was two left. Are you oh. Okay, we are not putting in the work here. All right, another plus two. Let's see if we can hit this. All right, 300, 200, 100. No. Oh. Okay, okay, that was close. One, honestly. Bro, if you think you have what it takes to beat this level, tap the screen and download Top War now. I don't know. I have no problem never finding out, though. I got silver. And what do we say to the universe when we're having a bad day? How dare you seek to inconvenience me? I have been through things that you cannot fathom. And what do we say to the universe when we're having a bad day? That was pretty good. I got another request at the airport. I 
I did not expect what will happen next. Can you balance a violin on your chin like that? I feel like it'd be pretty difficult. I wouldn't know, I've never held a violin. Unless a toy violin counts. That probably didn't make sense to you guys, but whatever. Hmm. Pretty relaxing. And a little boring too, if I'm being honest. Ah. Hope you guys had a nice St. Patty's Day, by the way. My sister's birthday lands on St. Patrick's Day, so we typically end up celebrating that. But there's still alcohol either way, so that's nice. I must have sounded like an alcoholic when I said that, but whatever. Ignore everything you just said. I was feeling that. My husband stops making TikToks with a dog. Me. <laughs> I wish I was gay for the fitness or the fashion alone. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm straight, but I'd love to be in gay shape. You know what I mean? You want me to gay dude? They're in great shape every fucking was that time, it? man. It's so impressive. Gay dudes stay in the gym. Was that a homo? Gym. Was that a homo? They stay in there. They're just turning it out, burning in calories, dog. It's dedication. You better respect it. That's next level fitness. If bro. you're homo, that if you're homo, that, like, if you, you fight say something homophobic, man. is it considered racist or sexist? Or is there another is like to it? it. God, if not fucking... Whatever the proper terminology God, is, I feel like this is um, what that is. This video, this God. comedy bit. I don't know if you guys know this, but gay men have a stranglehold on the fashion game. They are killing shit. But nobody in this world dresses better than gay men. You better respect it. It's pretty impressive. Eh. I guess. I mean, you spend enough time in the closet, you're bound to find something. You know what it is? Boots. I wish I was gay. No. There are three signs that you have a small I'm feeling it, honestly. One, you overuse words like literally. Two, it's hard to describe your feelings. Three. So you want pancakes or waffles? I'm still. Really not that hard with the this is why I generally focus on the videos that I, of, from people I'm already following. Really good at employing people with physical disabilities. Muffles or pancakes. When we're young, we sneak out of the house to go to parties. For the few times I actually go on TikTok to watch videos. Bananas are no longer the food that most closely resembles the telephone. Muffles or pancakes, man. It's now the pop time. Muffles or pancakes. Right. Uh. So you want hey, never forget that the reason why combination KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Huts exist in the first place is because Pepsi couldn't compete with Coca-Cola in the fast food marketplace. See, for the longest time, Pepsi's unofficial slogan was, is Pepsi okay? Because everyone was ordering Coke. So every restaurant was turning Pepsi down. 
Pepsi took a look at the numbers and realized it was cheaper to buy three fast foods. I hate it when girls are like, oh my gosh, my crush doesn't even know that I exist. Like, girl, my crush doesn't even exist. I hate it when girls are like, oh my gosh, my crush doesn't even know that I exist. Like, girl, my crush doesn't even exist. Selena's TikToks are pretty good too. As long as she's not promoting something. Animals that are so goddamn stupid that I'm surprised any of them are still alive. I love you so much. In no order of absolute buffoonery, we're gonna start with uh, the panda. Uh, you've all seen one of these things, they're adorable. The big fat black and white bears that have the capacity to kill a human being, but instead they just eat bamboo and look fat. I mean, it's hard not to love them. But the problem is, they're too stupid to have babies. They won't have sex. They just want to sit around and eat bamboo all day, which I understand. I'm kind of in that same boat. But for the love of God, one of you has to pick up the slack. We all can't be hedonistic spinsters. Have a little baby. It's kind of fun being a mom, especially if an Asian person is watching the baby for you. And they have to watch the baby for them, because a lot of the times, the moms just get bored or angry with the kid, and they kill it. They kill the baby. Hmm. All right, that was amusing, but I gotta attend to something real quick, so BRB. Sorry about that. Where were we? Oh, right. Figure it out, pandas. Up next are sloths, and everyone knows that sloths are slow, but they're also slow in the zone. Despite the fact that they are practically just overintelligent vegetation, they often climb up trees and mistake their own arm for tree branches, and then just grab on and fall to their death. Happens, happens way, way more, more often than it should. Also, also I'm pretty really? sure if they that. eat enough food, they'll die because their metabolism, metabolism is so slow that they run, that they run out of energy digesting, digesting all of the food. It's just, it's just they're, not they're not primed for survival. They're cute. They're, they're definitely cute, cute, but natural selection is a, a, a tough bet. Koalas. Who doesn't love a cute marsupial? Natural selection is not present enough in this world. this is a true world. fact. The koala has the worst brain For every dumb child that evades natural selection, a new Walmart They also have terrible hygiene like 90% of them have chlamydia, but we're not getting into, we're not talking about that. They only eat eucalyptus, and they only eat like 70 kinds of eucalyptus, even though there's like 3,000 species of it. And it's not a good like calories to weight ratio. They have to eat a lot of it. And sometimes it takes them too long to identify the type of eucalyptus that they want to eat, and they die of starvation. They're too picky of eaters. They would rather just die than have something that's a little off. These koalas are dying for the same reason a seven-year-old at Chili's won't eat anything whenever the chicken tenders are taken off the menu. Animals aren't supposed to be this stupid. I don't understand how they live this long. Also, the Kakapo bird, which I love. I've talked about this bird before. It's just a big, goofy parrot that doesn't fly, and it's it's just a cute little guy. But the worst thing about them is when they're approached by a predator, their natural defense is, get this, standing completely still and becoming uh, 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 the easiest snack known to man. They just get I know there are approximately 10 billion up, like, users on chicken. YouTube. They're, they're, I guess they're okay with that. They just accept that. How That's many... Kind of hardcore, but it's stupid. Stupid bird, stupid animal. Stupid How many are so users are on TikTok, I wonder, that are actually making videos? I love you so much. In no order of absolute buffoonery. The school is on fire. So... Form a single file line and slowly enter the hole. <laughs> True. Honestly. I told my mom I hated her this morning. No talking. These are actually. Like, these are no actually reason. true, no honestly. We will now stand this is how every drill is executed the for the ground. most part, so I've observed. Hey, hey, make sure you are standing on the only flammable substance here. Perfect. All right, All right I'm going to read off your names and make sure that everyone is here now that it's over. Even though this is a life or death. Is one of them, are one of their students absent making out? The fire truck arrives instead of leaving. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Would have been a funny bit, though. I feel like they missed an opportunity there. There once was a man that was sleepy, so the man brewed himself a pot of coffee, but the coffee did not awaken him, so he drank more and more. True facts. Buzzing, jittering, vibrations. Now cause of caffeination, he's just anxious and tired. 
There once was a man. That was good. So I do the spot, and I almost dump punk over, and 2.7 seconds have gone by. I see Undertaker in the corner, and I thought... I wish there was a way to remove the HUD on TikTok. So, I, I and everyone else, he's, he's anyone else ever wished sometimes that. Sometimes I'm in the corner. I hit this man as hard as I've ever hit anyone. Like, in the, like back of the head. Bam. All of a sudden, he just, bam, goozles me around the neck. And I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm going up. Good, good job, Cody. Right? Goozles me. And he's, he's just kicking me in the knee. Mm. Okay. Kick him in the knee. He lets, he lets his hand go, and his hair's all hanging in his face. And he goes, drop kick me. I jump up. I drop kick him. He takes a bump. He takes a bump. So I do the spot. We're on Twitch right now? No, we're on kick. It's right above my head. Bright pink. You can't miss it. What do you call taking a selfie? That was dark. Look how big my pigs got. It. What? Where does they come from? Oh no! They're stronger than me, so they're taking my pigs. Now what will I eat? Oh, is that a saber tooth tiger? I should save it. Really? On, let's train together and get those pigs back. Oh, look how strong he got. And he got his food. OMG, that was a huge level up. Oh. Time for revenge, losers. This is Primitive Era. The game in which you travel back in time to live, explore, hunt, like and accent, survive the in the prehistoric era. Can you survive? So tap to download. Does anyone else think about the fact that we stole our dogs from their parents? I always told him he was adopted. But really, he was just kidnapped. But I did pay for him. So technically, he was purchased. Without consent. He's in a safe living environment. But he's not allowed to leave the house without me which makes this more of a hostage situation oh, honestly i don't know does anyone else think about the fact that yeah we were in so so what's the situation uh we got a woman in there holding a knife she just killed her husband but do we know why she killed her husband yeah she told him not to step on the floor after she mopped it and he stepped on it anyway okay so why don't we have her in custody the floor is still wet oh yeah no, hold mm -hmm. so what's the So I made him a house. So I made him a house. But so I made him a house. But I made him a house. So I made him a house. But 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 I made him a house. Also, the people named him Frederick. <laughs> so Funny. So printed it, ripped off this garbage, and installed V2. And now it was the pool. Get into pool. Do you really see you guys? That's an even better idea. So we made a pool with plants and this infinity edge waterfall. Whoa. That was one spoiled amphibian. And now it was put Frogs are amphibian, right? Yeah. I don't know why I asked that. We built Frodrick an emergency cave. Then, Frod, he's called Frod now. Frod. Out of Frod. All the Frods were there. But then, oh! He's scared to kill the Frods. Oh. He's just thirsty for some frog tea. Oh. So, the possum turned out to be a friend. And the people named him King Julian. King Julian. Now the house was perfect. He's a bug light. Then we started on the bug tractor. After lots of designs, we ended up with this spaceship. And also added this pond. And then this happened. Awkward. Then you had eggs. <laughs> and then tadpoles. So we added a tadpole ram. And then there were baby frogs everywhere. All frogs are now called frogs now. Frogs. Wow. And it turned out there was also a pregnant female possum. We named her Queen Julia. She had the baby. We named him Mort. Now there's a live stream where Mort and QJ have dinner each night with their hand, and then we make Frog House V3. And that's it. That's how Frog went from this to this. <laughs> Interesting. I noticed there was a frog that... It's becoming increasingly obvious. I can deny it no longer! I am small. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, look at the little puppy. 
<laughs> what kind of dog is that? <laughs> It's a what? Oh. Hi, Michael. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Most tame owl I've ever seen. Oh, he's right here. That's a grown ass man. Yeah, he's a little old, but hey, who said you can't teach old dogs new tricks? Ready? Watch this. Speak. Good boy. Yeah, he just spoke English. That's a grown, that's an actual human being. Yeah, yeah, I guess he kind of does have like that human like personality. Because it's a fucking dude. I feel like we're drastically <laughs> overlooking the fact that this is just a guy on all fours that you keep in your house. Or... He's actually a rescue. Did I mention that? What does that even mean in this context? It's a shame. I found him out wandering the streets all by himself one night. So I took him in. I was going to class one day and he just grabbed me. Okay, what's your <laughs> Okay, so this is like some type of king. No, dude, you can't really like like okay, even then, why are you going along with this? Free rent, free food. Still, dude, they can't for yeah. one game matching pension plan. Dude. That was the hardest I've laughed this entire video. You, my canines have never looked so good. I'm dead. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, and we have a winner. <laughs> okay. Download a game from an ad just for it to look nothing like the ad. With Ebony the King. Yes, yes, I have. Not from TikTok, but from other gaming apps. I've been trying to get this treasure to my king for almost two hours, but I keep falling into traps. See if you have what it takes to beat these intricate puzzles with Ebony the King's Return. Download and solve the puzzles now. This is Mickey. Mickey's responsible Mickey. for nearly all local crimes. This is Whoopsie Daisy. Before Whoopsie Daisy came to us, her name was Accidental Manslaughter. This is Molly. Molly <laughs> accidentally ran an illegal fishing scheme after mistaking it for her dream job, a legal fishing scheme. This is Prairie. Prairie's named after the place she By the way, did I leave a like on that Where's other video? Yeah, yeah, I did. All right. This is Mickey. Mickey's responsible for nearly all local crimes. This is Whoopsie Daisy. Before Whoopsie Daisy came to us, her name was Accidental Manslaughter. This is Molly. Molly accidentally accidentally ran an illegal fishing scheme after mistaking <laughs> it for her dream job, a legal fishing scheme. This is Prairie. Prairie's named after the place she intended to escape to after, quote, the incident. This is Clementine. <laughs> Clementine's never broken the law, but she did once wrap under the saddle cloud named Clement Cry. This is Calypso. <laughs> Calypso steals social security numbers, but not to use, just to, like, have. This is Mickey. <laughs> Mickey's <laughs> This is how you throw a playing card. Let's learn. Start by pinching the top left corner of the card, just like that. And then curl your wrist, and this is how you let go. The friction should allow the card to go ahead and give it momentum. So this is what it looks like from here, and I extend. And just like that. Interesting. Let's try a bit more. There we go. This is how you throw a plane. I actually wish I could try that for the video, Sorry, but I don't have a target I don't have a target like board that. like that. And Very interesting. Argument's completely right. So the conservative argument is that guns were written in the Constitution because the founding fathers thought if all the citizens have guns, then the government will have to do what they say, or else the people will rise up and fight the government, right? Which is a legitimately great idea in the 1700s. But hmm. The problem is there's still people now hoarding weapons, thinking that at some point they may need to take on the American military, and they think they Is that really the mindset of look, gun owners? Right, which is why I'm proposing we test their theory and once a year have a head-to-head -head showdown. <laughs> Say a, a hundred members of the NRA versus, I don't know, two members of the military? <laughs> Broadcasted on Fox Christmas Day. Like, Merry Christmas and welcome to the 2022 NRA Military Showdown. 
Let's go down to the field of battle, meet one of our NRA combatants. Sir, what's your name? What kind of weapon do you work with? And he's like, my name's Andy Baker, and I got an AR-15. We're in Kevlar, head to toe. Andy, how confident are you scale one to ten? Fucking a million. <laughs> check in with the military real quick and they cut to one guy by himself in a bunker and he's like uh my name's staff sergeant jeremiah walker and they're like jeremiah what can i be working with and he's like look i don't know if this is fair but i'm working with a, a drone <laughs> yeah it's equipped with eight hellfire missiles and a high-powered camera as you can see on this monitor here the nra fellows are actually in just one big cluster hmm. True. So, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we start it? All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hit this button right here. Yeah, now they're all dead. Fair enough, actually. So then I never thought of it like that. <laughs> Dude, you've got to go talk to Jimmy. What? Why? He's been watching too much Harry Potter. You know, I wish I could sleep, but then my stupid ADHD kicks in, and well, it's basically one sheep, two sheep, cow, turtle, duck, old McDonald had a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty good. It's worth a follow. Can't wait to uh, check it out another time. Yeah, that's true. That's why I don't like pretzels. I mean, they're not my first choice of snack. I don't hate them. Cheers, mate. You're a legend, Bill. Absolutely appreciate it. See you next time. Hey, buddy. Yep. Uh, you know where I'm heading, Reese's Jockey? Bill. Oi, Bill. Bill, are you in there? Starburst? 
buddy. Get out of here, dude. Nah. Come on, get out the fuck out of here. You get the fuck, you fuck. I'll kick your ass. Why do you always <laughs> say that? Are you kill me? Yeah, well, yeah. that is factual. Now, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> uh, we're becoming friends, aren't we? Get out of here. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. I'm going, I'm going. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> Crikey, I just got in a fight out there. Billy, that was nuts. <laughs> You don't know what it's like living in the bush full time. Yeah. I went rolling down the bloody mountain. You got a Reese's? Where's your, uh, yeah, what do you have to stop? What are these mints? I don't want a mint. What do I want a mint for? Don't make me fight you. Come on, man. This is bullshit. I've just been out there battling for life, battling for survival. Bloody helping the miso and the cubs. <laughs> what, you think it's funny I'm going to come in here and have a mint? All right, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I got it. No need to rush and help out with your opposable thumbs. Sorry, store's full at the moment. Uh, <laughs> have you had a good night, Bill? You had many human customers or just scavengers? Just us animals. What is this? I haven't tried this before. That smells pretty good. All right, I'll give it a go. I'm open to new things. I don't have to have Reese's chocolate bars every time. See ya. <laughs> This is truly one of the best knots in the world, and it could actually double your strength, meaning if you pull 10 pounds, it'll translate that to more than 20 pounds of force, making it extremely useful when strapping things down to a truck like a canoe or getting perfect tension on a tarp. Now, tying it is very easy. Take the free end of your rope and thread it through your anchor point. Now reach forward and create what I like to call an ignition on loop. I call it this because I find it's easy to remember the motion of turning a mm. car on. It's the exact same wrist motion we perform on our line. Grab a bite of that rope closer to you, feed it up and through, and now pull and it locks it in place. This creates what's known as a slip knot and that's really all there is to it. Just take your free end and feed it through that slip knot and now when you pull it's going to use the mechanical advantage of this pulley system to more than double the amount of strength you could crank down with. And once you wow have wow you just wow push the line grab a bite from your free end <laughs> and go underneath and then back under itself and it creates a quick release which you could pull to release the whole thing this is truly one of the best airlines do not want you to know these three secrets hi it looks like you bumped me for this flight i was supposed to be on yeah we have rebooked it so basically we sold more tickets and seats available in the plane and to our surprise it already showed up oh well i've read your terms so i know this is called involuntary denied boarding in this case i'm eligible for compensation fine here's 200 dollars, and we can get you another flight in three hours well according to the department of transportation since the next flight you can give me our results in an over two hour delay i'm entitled to four times the cost of my one-way fare i paid 250 dollars for the one-way fare so that'd be a thousand dollars you owe me fine man here's your thousand dollars you know just for that we're gonna make sure it's damage your baggage well i hope you do because mm. then you'll be responsible for paying me up to three thousand eight hundred dollars you're tweaking why would i pay you for that the airline is responsible for paying the replacement tweaking. value of the damaged bag and the items inside of it and you can't say it's normal wear and tear because i make sure to take a picture before the flight i would just give you a hundred dollar voucher or something actually since this is a domestic flight you are responsible for paying up to three thousand eight hundred dollars per ticketed passenger for the mm. damages dude you know too much by the way i noticed that you saved a lot of money on your flight what did you do Oh, that's because I used the Google flight hack. What? Show me. Search Google flights and click the top link. Then put where you're flying from, but not the destination. Then what? Now just click the map down here. Wow, these flights are so cheap. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, but it gets even better. Now click this little tab right here. Now you want to choose the month you want to travel and click down here and choose nonstop. Wow, that's crazy. A round trip to Miami is only $100. And only $300 to go to Cancun. Who taught you all this? I just simply followed the real melanin game. Airlines do not want you to know mm -hmm. these three secrets. Hi. Keep tapping. Your avatar moves with you. Make yourself oh. into an anime. Hey, it's good to see you. I thought you gave up smoking for good. I, I did give up smoking for good. Now I smoke for evil. <laughs> hey, it's good to see you. Brother. I thought you gave up smoking that was a little corny, yeah, but still amusing. Sideways. In some films and video games, we occasionally see characters holding their bow and drawing like this, or even like that. And you can see why, because this is very visually useful. A shot drawn low and sideways leaves the face of the character free for emoting, expressing, etc. If you've paid a lot of money for an actor, you don't want to have your character poster obscuring half of them. That's true, actually. I've always wondered that. ...between standard shooting and stealth shooting in video games. But does it work? The short answer is yes. But it has some caveats. The first one is that this is noticeably harder to aim. When you're drawing down here, you no longer have the arrow anywhere near your face. 
that citing a long F becomes incredibly difficult. And you have to rely on purely instinctive aiming. It's not impossible though, and you can learn to be reasonably accurate with this style. The second problem is that it's harder to draw. Normal archery involves engaging your entire back in the shot. You use muscles all the way down and on both sides. But for this sort of shooting, you're relying almost entirely on one arm to draw it back. This isn't too bad on a low weight bow, but when you take something with a bit more kick, that normally takes a lot of strength to draw, it becomes very difficult indeed to draw it any kind of distance. And even for a draw that you can handle, that string is going to hit your arm around here, sacrificing a good few inches of draw and power. So visuals mm. aside, does the sideways shot have any use? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. For a short bow like this, crouching down presents a few problems. But if you're using something a bit longer, you might need to get creative. Because otherwise, I'm going to hit the end of This guy really ground. knows his stuff, clearly. If you find yourself trying to shoot over the top of something, or with other obstructions around, for less realistic scenarios, it's also not a terrible way of lining up multiple arrows in the same shot. Although, as discussed previously, you can do that vertically anyway. It's worth noting that most of these same problems are also solved by a shot from horse archery called John Mackey, which I'm definitely pronouncing wrong. Hmm. It lets you shoot while crouching. You can do it in cover. It's not much harder to aim. Interesting. It looks incredibly fancy. And it gets Thumb you a lot deck. to a full draw. So I guess if you find yourself in that situation, you just got to choose the shot that you prefer. Let's talk about holding your bow sideways. Well guys, that was actually a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to like and again, be sure to like and subscribe and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want a part two. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i going to do a part two anyway, probably at some point, but you know, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. If, uh, anyway, as always, Dr. Stephen James, saying peace. Later guys.